So we'll go to the server and click on Reverse Lookup Zones. Right click and choose New Zone. Click Next. I'm going to choose the primary zone. And you can choose to store it in Active Directory if it's a domain controller. And mine is a domain controller, so I'll just leave it that way. And it'll say, hey, all DNS servers in this domain, that's fine. That's safe. This is going to be an IPv4 lookup zone. And now I need the IP address subnet of my network. So I'm just going to go back to my command prompt and just type an IP config. And I can see that this is going to be 192.168.21. And we can see that the subnet mask shows that we only need to care about the first three octets. Each of these are octets. So if this was just 255.0, Dot zero, dot zero, then I would only care about the first octet. But because I see three of these, I care about all three of these octets. So that's what I'm going to enter in. So I'm going to put in 192.168.21. And that's it. I don't need to put in anything else. Click Next. Choose Allow Only Secure Dynamic Updates. That is the safest way to go. And click Finish. So there is my reverse lookup zone, and it adds in an SOA and NS uh, records. Uh, those are uh, default records that are added in to show who's in charge of that zone. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh my DNS by doing an IP config slash flush DNS. That's flushed everything out, so that way it will go to the DNS server to look for any new information rather than anything that's been cached. Now that I have my zone set up, I'm going to right click and choose to create a new pointer record. So I've got my new pointer record. I know the IP address of this particular server is .110, and I'm going to put in the name dc1.techpub.us. OK. Click OK, and there's my record. Now I want to go back in and choose NS Lookup one more time. And there we go, default server dc1.techpub.us, no longer saying unknown server. Simply creating the reverse lookup zone isn't enough to fix the error. You also need to go in and create a new pointer record. So that's how you fix those reverse DNS errors using NS lookup by creating that reverse lookup zone and record in Windows Server 2019.